People first have to understand what the science yes. is. You have to understand why there needs to be a consideration so there is fairness. Because if someone like Riley, who has worked her whole life yeah. and made sacrifices, I mean, I, I've, I, I've known elite athletes in my life that were gymnasts and all, and, and you know, they get up two hours before school, all the other kids are asleep in bed, and Riley's up in the water. And you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they work out two hours before class. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then they work out two hours with a team. And then and it, it goes on. And what you said, Riley, five and a half hours a day at one point? Right. Yeah, in college every day. It's five and a half hours you're in the pool, and that's not including weights. It's not including all the different aspects outside of the pool. Yeah, that's the And you're exactly thing. right. Two and a half of those are before 8 a.m. All right, so what exactly do the studies show? And, that, and that's what we want to know. I, I want uh, Dr. Hooven to, to tell us exactly what is the science. You teach this at Harvard, and you have for how many years? I've been teaching for 20 years, but I really have been teaching about testosterone uh, and how it shapes male and female bodies. So I just want to start out by saying there are reasons the sexes are different in the first place, and it's because of differences in the way we reproduce. And it has to do with the fact that, especially in mammals, females are the ones who grow the babies with our own bodies and feed the babies with our own bodies. And we need a lot of extra energy to do that. So in puberty, we have a lot of estrogen and low testosterone, and the estrogen causes the energy that we take in from food to be deposited more as fat than muscle. So that's why for young women starting puberty, we tend to get kind of round and soft, and men tend to get uh, more muscular because the higher testosterone causes that energy to be used to produce uh, increased muscle and significantly more muscle. And that's because males can do better reproductively historically from an evolutionary point of view from competing with each other for mating rights essentially. So that's why males have so much more upper body mass, uh, muscle mass and strength on average. And this isn't just uh, happening in humans, this happens in a lot of non-human animals too, and we can all see that also. So that's why we have this divergence at the same time that our bodies start producing sperm and eggs. There's a reason we separate by sex in the first place, <clears throat> and that's because we're different. Mm -hmm. And if those differences, those male advantages are not eliminated, then what is your argument for maintaining sex categories at all? Sure. Yeah. Um. And I'm glad you asked me that because I okay. have questions for you with what you said, right? Yeah. Because it's like, you can tell that sex is not binary, like the XX and XY. It I mean, is binary. It, yeah. Is it though? Yes. Because we have intersex people. We have people who have two things that have lots of stuff. And so my question for you was- We can talk about that yep. later, but it, there but are here's two my question. Here's yeah. my question for you. Of when, the we're looking at your, when we're looking at your study here, I, yeah. my first question would be, you know, who was in it? You know, is, has it been looked at by W path or US path. So is that, it sorry, that's not just one study. Those are data from all of sure. these studies, which sure. at this point we have a bunch, um, but sure. not and, enough in yeah. my view. But and yeah. so then my last question would be the way I look at it right now, based on what you said. Yeah. Because yes, if if boys go through puberty, like we know that they start to grow. And that's something that we need to be able to watch and monitor. What I'm saying is, as a doctor, as a scientist, if you take all of the men in the world, or in the US yeah. and line them up with all of the women, right? Like there's so much crossover. Oh, sure, right? sure. Because bodies, because <clears throat> bodies. But now, there is not now, crossover right. in elite sports. Yeah. Right. Serena but, but Williams would be beat by about 700 men, but the Serena, most incredible right, but we're not female talking, athlete. But that listen, is what we're talking about. We're not about. talking about men playing against women. We, I am not. I am talking about a trans woman yeah. who is living and fully identifying as a woman, as a trans guy. But then you'd have to I, show yeah. that that advantage is lost. I agree. That the male advantage and, is lost, and, and we the, don't have that evidence. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.